क्लास टेन साइंस चैप्टर हाउ डू ऑर्गेनिज्म रिप्रोड्यूस रिप्रोडक्शन रिप्रोडक्शन इज द प्रोसेस बाय विच ऑल लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म प्रोड्यूस न्यू इंडिविजुअल्स ऑफ देयर ओन काइंड रिप्रोडक्शन इज एसेंशियल फॉर द सर्वाइवल ऑफ स्पीशीज ऑन दिस अर्थ डीएनए कॉपीइंग इन रिप्रोडक्शन द बेसिक इवेंट इन रिप्रोडक्शन इज द क्रिएशन ऑफ ए डीएनए कॉपी सेल्स यूज केमिकल रिएक्शंस टू बिल्ड कॉपीज ऑफ देयर डीएनए द प्रोसेस ऑफ कॉपीइंग द डीएनए मे हैव सम वेरिएशंस ईच टाइम एज अ रिजल्ट द डीएनए कॉपीज जनरेटेड विल बी सिमिलर बट मे नॉट बी आइडेंटिकल टू द ओरिजिनल इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ कॉपीइंग ऑफ डीएनए ड्यूरिंग रिप्रोडक्शन द कॉपीइंग ऑफ डीएनए ड्यूरिंग रिप्रोडक्शन इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज आई its helps in transferring of characters from parents to offspring to it maintains the characteristics in different generations of the species 3 it also produces variations which are useful for the survival of species for long time what is the importance of variation i variation helps organisms to adapt to the changes in environment Two, it contributes to evolution. Three, it is the basis of heredity. Four, it helps species to be resistant to diseases. Types of reproduction: it is mainly of two types. One dot asexual reproduction: the production of new organism from a single parent without the involvement of sex cells or gametes is called asexual reproduction. Two dot sexual reproduction. the process of production of new organism from two parents by using sex cells called gametes is called sexual reproduction modes of asexual reproduction i fission in this the parent cell divides into daughter cells binary fission when the fission results into daughter cells it is binary fission for example amoeba and paramecium reproduction in amoeba when the amoeba cell reaches its maximum size then first the nucleus of amoeba lengthen and divide into two parts following the division of cytoplasm of parent to form two smaller daughter cells multiple fission when fission results in many daughter cells it is called multiple for example plasmodium reproduction in plasmodium during unfavorable condition a cyst or protective wall is formed around the cell of plasmodium inside the cyst the nucleus of cell splits several times to form many daughter nuclei each daughter nuclei is surrounded by the cytoplasm collected inside a thin membrane thus a number of new daughter cells are formed within the cyst when the favorable conditions arrive the cyst breaks open and daughter cells are released each forming a new organism two fragmentation in multicellular organisms the organism breaks up into smaller pieces upon maturation each piece develops into new individual for example spirogyra spirogyra 3 regeneration in this a few organisms may give rise to new individual organisms from their body parts for example hydra and planaria two fragmentation smaller pieces upon maturation each piece develops into new individual for example spirogyra three regeneration in this 
a few organisms may give rise to new individual organisms from their body parts. For example, Hydra and Planaria. 4. Budding In some organisms, a bud is formed which develops into tiny individual. It detaches from parent body upon maturation and develops into a new individual. For example, Hydra. V. Vegetative propagation. It is the method of reproduction in which plants reproduce by their vegetative parts such as roots, stems and leaves. It is of two types. A. Natural vegetative propagation. It can be done by the following methods. Cutting, a small vegetative part of the plant removed by cutting with sharp knife is called cutting. It is then planted in the soil to grow a new similar plant. For example, rose and sugar cane are grown by cutting. Layering, in this method, a branch of plant is pulled towards the ground and a part of it is covered with moist soil leaving the tip of branch exposed above the ground. After some time, new roots develop and then this branch is cut off from parent plant and it grows into a new plant. For example, jasmine and strawberry are grown by layering. Grafting, in this method, the stems of two different plant are cut, one with roots and other without roots. Both are joined together and the part with roots is sown in the soil. This results into a new land that has the characteristics of both the plants. The cut stem of plant having root is called stalk and the cut stem of another plant is called scion. For example, apple and pear are grown by grafting. B. Artificial Vegetative Propagation Tissue Culture In tissue culture, new plants are grown by removing tissue or separating cells from the growing tip of a plant. The cells are then placed in an artificial medium where they divide rapidly to form a small group of cells or callus. The callus is transferred to another medium containing hormones for growth and differentiation. The plantlets are then placed in the soil so that they can grow into mature plants. Importance of Vegetative Propagation Plants can bear flowers and fruits earlier. Plants which have lost the ability to produce viable seeds can also reproduce by vegetative propagation. All plants are genetically almost similar to the parent plant. Seedless varieties can be obtained. 6. Spore formation. In this method, the parent plant produces a number of microscopic reproductive units called spores closed inside a spore case. When the spore case bursts, the spores spread into air. When these airborne spores land on food or soil, they begin to germinate under favorable conditions and produce new plants. For example, most of the fungi such as rhizopus, bread mold, and non-flowering plants. Sexual reproduction it involves to parents, male and female. A male gamete fuses with a female gamete to form a new cell called zygote. This zygote then grows and develops into a new organism. Sexual reproduction in flowering plants Flowers are the reproductive organs of plants. It mainly consists of four parts, sepals, petals, stamen and pistil. Stamen is the male reproductive part and produces pollen grains that contain male gametes. Each stamen has two parts, filament and anther. Carpal is the female reproductive part and produces ovules that contain female gametes. It has three parts, stigma, style and ovary. There are two types of flowers. Unisexual, a flower that contains either male or female reproductive parts. For example, papaya and watermelon. Bisexual, a flower that contains both male and female reproductive parts. For example, 
hibiscus and mustard. Pollination Transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the flower is known as pollination. It is of two types. I. Self-pollination The transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the same flower or another flower of the same plant. 2. Cross-pollination The transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of another flower or another flower of a different plant of the same species. It is carried out with the help of external agents like insects, birds, wind and water. Fertilization Fertilization is the process of fusion of male and female gamete to form a zygote during sexual reproduction. Pollen grains produced in the anther are transferred to the stigma of same flower or stigma of another flower. A male gamete present in the pollen grains moves down the pollen tube. The pollen tube enters the ovule in the ovary where the male gamete combines with the female gamete present in ovule to form a fertilized egg called zygote. Zygote divides several times to form an embryo within the ovule. The ovule develops a tough coat and changes into seed gradually. Ovary grows rapidly and changes into a fruit. The other parts of flower fall off. The remaining part of the chapter will be presented here shortly. Reproduction in human beings times humans reproduce by sexual mode of reproduction. Times it includes creation of the germ cells e egg, ova, in the female and sperm in the male. Times the period of sexual maturation is called puberty. Male reproductive system male germ cells, sperms, are formed in the testes, male reproductive organ. Male humans have two testes. They are located inside scrotum which is present outside the abdominal. Scrotum has a relatively low temperature needed for the production of sperms by testes. Testes release a male sex hormone called testosterone. It helps to times regulate the production of sperm times bring about changes in appearance seen in boys at the time of puberty. The sperms along with the secretion of prostate gland and seminal sickle form semen, which is released and made to enter into the female genital tract through penis. Female Reproductive System The female germ cells or eggs, ova, are produced in the ovaries, located in both sides of abdomen. At the time of birth of a girl child, the ovaries already contain thousands of immature eggs. Some of these eggs start maturing at the time of puberty. One egg, ovum, is produced every month by one of the ovaries. The release of an ovum from the ovary into the abdominal cavity is known as ovulation. The egg is carried from the ovary to the womb through a fallopian tube. There are two fallopian tubes which unite to form an elastic bag-like structure known as uterus. The uterus opens into the vagina through the cervix. Fertilization occurs in the fallopian tube of female genital tract. The fertilized egg also called zygote gets implanted in the lining of the uterus and start dividing. The inner lining of the uterus is richly supplied with blood vessels that help to nourish the growing embryo. The narrow end of the uterus is called cervix. If zygote is not formed, the inner wall of uterus breaks which causes bleeding through vagina. This process is called menstruation. It occurs at a regular interval of 28 days.